Welcome back to Newark Academy's Coach's Corner. I'm very lucky to have with us today our head boys lacrosse coach. That is Coach Rob Starr. Coach, welcome to Coach's Corner. Hey, Coach. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So we're going to jump right in here, Coach. Where did you begin your coaching career, and why did you become a coach? Um, so where did I begin my coaching career? Um, it was in Newark. Um, I actually did a volunteering program called the Brick City Program. Um, it was basically like an after-school summer type thing where uh, kids all came to a field. We had a bunch of sticks. We separated them in groups, and we had a really, really good time out there with them. So a lot of kids in Newark learned how to play lacrosse for free. It was an awesome thing. Tell me why you became a coach. Um, that's in my blood. Athletics all day long. I like to pass on the game. It's a big part of what I learned in the game is passing it down to the younger generations. And that's just been me ever since. That's been me since the middle of college. Um, I've been coaching. So were there mentors in your career that you modeled your coaching style after? That's a huge question. Now, I have a lot of mentors. I have always been a person that has hung around all the older generations and a lot of Hall of Famers. I can't even name all the people in New Jersey that I've coached under or learned from. But I took a little piece from everybody and kind of melted that into my own coaching style. So yeah, I, I had a lot of guys that I looked up to in New Jersey here. Coach, tell us a little bit about what you look for in your ideal student athlete. Okay, in lacrosse in particular, I'm looking for somebody who's fat all day long. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm looking for somebody who's faithful, available, and teachable. And those three things, I like to keep it very basic, very simple, very easy. People can learn the game of lacrosse, and it takes a little bit of time to learn the game, but people who are already playing, I look for you to be fat, faithful, available, teachable, because there's a lot to learn, and you never stop learning in the game. I'm pretty old now, and I still have not stopped learning playing the game myself, so that's what I'm looking for. Let's talk a little bit about values. What values do you instill in your players? I like to keep a wide range of values. think any one thing can make you a great person or make you a great athlete. So I kind of try to look at each person individually and kind of see what they're lacking and see what I can attribute or help them with. So if it's just having a positive attitude coming out, that could be one thing. If it's they're not working hard enough and to get to a point where they're working harder, I can maybe push them a little bit or guide them a little bit to help them out. That might be something. So I kind of just look for where the lack is and I try to fill those voids to help the person become you know, what we need them to become. Coach, talk to us a little bit about how boys lacrosse in particular uh, was impacted by the, you know, by the difficulties of 2020. Um, and, and how did you deal with it? Well, that's a big question. <laughs> we were impacted because we did not have a season. It's crazy. Uh, tired here at Nork Academy when it dropped. I think we had three days out on the field. Um, barely enough time to learn everybody's name and everything stopped. The whole world stopped. Impacted by that, but I think we all did a good job coming together, learning the virtual aspect, the Zoom aspect, getting on, uh, looking at old games, looking at older players who've been in the game, looking at collegiate games, professional games. I don't think we missed a beat with the educational portion. It was just out on the field. That's where we missed out last year. I'm really looking to just build with my team. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody out on the field. Uh, you know, people virtually, there's, I guess there's something that you miss getting to know a kid and you, you don't get to see what they can do out on the field or you can't really coach them. So I'm really just looking forward to getting a whistle back in my hands. Um, with uh, one mile every day in March, I'm not looking forward to that because I'm going to be running as well with the team. Uh, that's going to be a problem in itself. You guys might have to pick me off of the ground with a spatula or something, but you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to get back out with the guys. I'm ready to start blowing the whistle. I'm ready for them to start playing. I'm ready for the sights and the sounds of the game. So coach, tell us a little bit about why a perspective lacrosse student should join Newark Academy. It's definitely a great time to join Newark Academy. We have an all new coaching staff. Uh, we are super excited to get to work. We are ready to build. Uh, there's a great foundation here at Nork Academy that was laid already, and we're looking to build upon that. Um, we have some great things coming in the future, some exciting things. So if you're a lacrosse-specific athlete, this is where you want to be. Um, you're going to be able to be on a varsity team that's going to pop, and I'm guaranteeing we're going to throw some stuff out there that people have not seen before that's going to happen. So it's going to get a little crazy. And uh, if you'd like to enjoy the ride and you're creative, this is where you want to be. That's fantastic. So this does not mean that you're an old coach, but 
What piece of advice would you give to a young coach that's starting their career? I would consider myself an older coach. Uh, I'm starting to get to that period where a lot of the guys I was coming up under are retiring. Uh, once again, a lot of them are Hall of Famers. They're going on and they're looking back and coming and, you know, giving their advice. But I think one huge piece of advice that I received when, especially when I was a younger coach, um, and what I want to say to these younger coaches is watch what you say to people. They will take that throughout the rest of their lives and they will never forget what you've said to them. I have kids now that I revisit and that I talk to that was my first group of kids that I coached in high school. And, you know, they came back and said, hey, Coach Star, what you told me was true. And I'm like, what did I tell you? <laughs> you know, there's so many things you can tell a person. They're like, look, man, you always talk to me about life and how life and lacrosse kind of went together and they're like I'm out now I'm a grown man I have a kid I'm married I'm this I'm that and I'm starting to see some of the lessons that you guys taught us is directly correlated to life so you always want to be very very cognizant of what you're saying to one of the people in the younger generation you know each generation is different they're not going to grow up like we grew up they're probably not going to need exactly what we need to feed their souls out there so you have to be just cognizant of what you're saying and how you do stuff around kids well coach that is my last official question but like i have done with every other coach i want to give you the last word i don't know if there's anything else you'd like to say and then once you've had your opportunity we'll leave it at that cool i just like to say thanks for this today um it's definitely been fun i hope people get something out of it and i hope anybody who's watching will try lacrosse boys girls lacrosse program is really about to pop here at nork academy so be ready get suited and booted get ready for a wild ride it's going to be crazy this season Bye. <laughs>